Hello, I just wanted to walk through the uh, mobile data collection application. This is actually running on an iPad, but it's easier for me to uh, demo this um, and record it from an iPad. What's just been loaded there is uh, basically a web map that's been published in ArcGIS Online. There's a single what's called hosted feature layer that's been added to this base map. So you'll see the two uh, red uh, points on the top of the map there, which uh, are the two features in this area that have been added. Now this is only sample data. By tapping one of the points, you'll actually get to see the attributes of that point. Um, you can see there are basically four. There's the ID, the address, damage, and comments. This is actually for um, an, a sample application that we've been building for disaster management. So people, people can go out in the field and assess damage to properties and give them, uh, make comments and mark damage levels. So that's the, uh, the, the pop-up box. You'll see in the top right hand corner um, four buttons. There's the layers button which allows you to turn the, those layers on and off obviously. Um, there's a basic button which allows you to zoom in, to zoom back to the initial extent that you open the map in. There's also a geolocate button which will zoom you to your current location and put a blue marker on the map. The third option is the edit button um, and that allows you to simply add a point to the map. So let's just go ahead whilst we're online and, and do that. So you could tap the, uh, the point damage uh, checkbox, tap the, uh, the point underneath and then tap the map. And you'll actually see a, a box that comes up which is the input box for that particular point. Um, let's just OK that. Um, and then let's reselect that, that point. By OKing it, you actually register that within the system. So actually, when you're online, that point's been updated in ArcGIS Online. So um, if we shut the application down and restarted it, we would see that new point. There's some other options in there that you can, uh, you can use. There's an attachments piece, and there's a geolocate piece, and a delete. So uh, if you're interested in inputting data about that particular point, you're still in ArcGIS Online, just fill out the boxes that are there um, and then hit OK and that will update the server. Delete obviously will delete the point. Attachment actually opens the camera on the device and you can attach a picture to that uh, particular point and again that will be stored in ArcGIS Online. And then the final button, the geolocate button, will actually move that point to where you currently are. So those are the three options there. Let's go ahead and do uh, an offline um, edit. So the way the application works is if we hit the layers button, we hit this online offline button at the top here, it will give you the option to actually load the, the map offline. So what we'll do is let's hit the load offline maps button. It will tell you it's loading offline and the base map will disappear but the point data will remain. Now had we had a, a, a what's called a tile package, a TPK which you can generate in, uh, in the ArcMap 10.1 then uh, and we copy that over to the device then uh, we would actually have a base map here but we haven't got a, a tile package for this area so uh, so there's an empty background but the application is built to load a tile package when going offline so it gives that base map information um, so you've got the same options with the the point data as we showed before let's just go ahead and just do an edit um, we'll do the same as we did we'll tap that the uh, the checkbox We'll hit the point data and then we'll just add another point to the map. Again, the pop-up comes up. We're going to OK that. Now let's go ahead and go back online. Now this is what's happening offline is everything's being stored on the device. So let's go online. You'll see the base map come in as we as we reach across to ArcGIS Online. It, the, the video flickers a little bit. The actual application itself doesn't to do that. That's just the it's just the flickering in the video. Um, what you will notice is there aren't four points and now there's only three so the point that we added when we were offline is no longer visible. What we need to do to actually push that data to the server is to hit the edit button and then there's an apply offline edits on the top right hand corner. If we select that we'll actually get a pop-up that says added and then there's our actual point and if we needed to we can tap it and we can see the data. We haven't actually attached any data to that, so um, so that's that one. So 
there's the workflow, the typical workflow of the application that uh, that you'll get, and um, I encourage you to kind of follow that workflow. Thanks for watching.